My name is Mel Mason. I'm a holistic health coach from Tucson, Arizona, and I'm talking about doing grocery shopping right at the first annual Doing Life Right conference. I'd like to start with a quote by Dr. Ann Wigmore, a celebrated naturopathic physician from the early 20th century. She said, the food you eat can be either the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the, most, or the slowest form of poison. Our immune system is the most sophisticated, powerful tool we have to maintain health. There are no pharmaceuticals that can mimic the power and precise chemistry of the immune system. We have the ability to boost the strength and increase the effectiveness of our immune system a few times each day when we sit down to a meal. Yes, food can keep us healthy or gradually make us sick, and it's up to us to make optimal food choices. Over the past few decades, most Americans have been shielded from the process of growing and cultivating food in favor of convenience. It's time to regain familiarity with real food. And when I say real, I'm referring to whole foods, the stuff your great grandparents would recognize as edible. The key is to stick with the foods that contain the very stuff your body needs to function, such as naturally occurring vitamins, minerals, fiber, a host of phytochemicals, as well as macronutrients we're all familiar with in the form of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. In addition to knowing what to eat, we need to understand why we're eating. Here are the basics. We require energy, we must constantly repair cells and tissues in the body, and we must build new cells to replace the old ones. When these three things are allowed to happen with ease, we can get through our day feeling alert, and meeting these requirements keeps our immune system in check as well. Now, keeping healthy immune system's best interests in mind, what would a trip to the grocery store look like? Here are a few ways to make sure you're doing right by your body when shopping for food. Before you head out to the store, eat a little something. Avoid shopping on an empty stomach. Everything looks good when you're hungry. We make better food choices when our blood sugar is stable and our belly is pleasantly full. If we feel hungry at the store, everything sounds good and ends up in our cart. Plan to do your shopping after a meal and you'll save money, guaranteed. Plan a menu in advance. Sit down with a few of your favorite cookbooks, peruse the web a bit for your favorite uh, recipes, have in mind what you're going to make before heading to the store. Bring your own bags. This is a terrific habit that saves trees and minimizes the production of plastic. Create a shopping list and stick to it. By planning meals in advance and shopping for everything at the same time, you cut out the on-the-spot decision making that can lead to over shopping. Try to avoid bargain shopping for items that aren't on your list. Just because something is a good deal does not mean it's a good deal for your body. Once you're at the store, focus on the produce section. Do you recognize the slogan, Taste the Rainbow? It's the marketing slogan for a popular candy that has been around since the 1980s. I'm going to borrow this slogan and take it a bit further. Why stop at just tasting the rainbow? How about feeling the rainbow? This is what I want you to get out of the produce section at your store. Look around at all the beautiful colors in the produce section. Observe the lack of signs and packaging that try to convince you that these foods are indeed healthy. They speak for themselves. Take in the gorgeousness of the produce section and know that this is what real food indeed looks like. This is what all the stuff in the middle of the store in bright shiny packaging is made from. The closer you can consume your food to this truly natural state, the more your body will get out of it nutritionally. A good goal is to have 70 to 80 percent of what ends up in your cart come in the form of fresh greens, uh, fr fruits, and vegetables. Much of the food in the middle of the store is in shiny wrappers and slick packaging and is processed and refined and stripped of nutrients. Processed foods are not only nutrient deficient, they are typically devoid of any beautiful colors. And if they do have color, it's usually in the form of synthetic chemicals. Your body wants immediate access to nutrients. It takes so much extra effort for your body to sift through processed foods. We end up overeating not because we are calorie deficient, but because we haven't ingested the proper nutrients the body requires in order to feel satiated. Fresh produce, especially greens like kale, chard, romaine, spinach, dandelion greens, supply a vast array of the stuff the body is thrilled to accept and use on the spot with minimal digestive effort. The result? You feel full faster, and your energy stays stable for longer periods of time. Buy in bulk. 
spices, beans, whole grains like quinoa, oats, millet, and brown rice. Anything that is dehydrated naturally keeps for a long time. Because you're not buying fancy packaging, this can save you money big time. I recommend purchasing glass containers to store your bulk food items. Purchase organic and non-GMO food whenever possible. This is a hot topic. A recent controversial study showed that organic and conventionally grown produce are equally healthy. Well, okay, so nutrient content in the foods may be in fact similar. However, the important factor they did not study is the long-term effect of eating chemicals found in conventionally produced food. Common sense tells us that ingesting chemicals is not optimal. As for the genetic modification, there is a correlation between when major crops were genetically modified in the mid-1990s and the rise of allergies to these crops, such as soy and wheat. Buying the organic versions of these foods is especially important. Yes, buying organic may increase the grocery bill by a few bucks, but it will cut back on potential medical bills later on down the road. A couple of extra dollars for a pint of blueberries is a meaningful planned expense and a builder of immunity. Whereas $100,000 for a bypass operation is a sudden expense brought about by years of eating the types of foods that may do incremental harm. Avoiding toxins and genetic modification will help your immune system stay at its peak. You'll notice a sticker on your produce. If there's a four digit number that begins with a four, it's conventionally grown, meaning it contains pesticide residue and could potentially have been grown in nutrient deficient soil. If there's a five digit number that begins with a nine, this means it's organically grown. Try to stick with these. A five-digit number beginning with the number eight indicates it's genetically modified. According to the Environmental Working Group, certain types of produce are more contaminated than others. They advise buying the following foods organically when possible. Apples, celery, bell peppers, peaches, strawberries, imported nectarines, grapes, spinach, lettuce, cucumbers, domestic blueberries, potatoes, green beans, and kale. The least contaminated produce includes onions, sweet corn, pineapples, avocado, cabbage, sweet peas, asparagus, mangoes, eggplant, kiwi, domestic cantaloupe, sweet potatoes, grapefruit, watermelon, and mushrooms. And you can go ahead and check the Environmental Working Group's website for a continuously updated list. The frozen section is great to fall back on. Often you can't get Often you can get great deals on organic frozen produce. If you're into making smoothies, this is definitely the way to go. Frozen organic produce is flash frozen, preserving its nutrient content from the moment it was picked. Avoid frozen pre-made whole meals. These typically contain a huge list of ingredients that include loads of preservatives and sodium. Read the labels. When you stick with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, seeds, and spices, there's exactly one ingredient. This is ideal. Prepackaged foods have all sorts of extra ingredients like sugar in the form of high fructose corn syrup or even artificial sweeteners, salt in the form of MSG or yeast extract, and unhealthy fats as in hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated anything. These ingredients trick your taste buds into thinking this processed food is something your body wants more of despite its lack of nutrients. Avoid this trap by sticking to foods that don't have a shelf life longer than you. As Michael Pollan, award-winning food writer for the New York Times, suggests, if it has more than five ingredients, or has anything difficult to pronounce, allow it to remain on the shelf. Buy locally produced food when available. If your community offers farmer's markets or co-ops, see what they're all about. Shake the person's hand who grows the food you will eat. This is a fantastic way to get to know the cycle of food production and make it more personal. Food is the foundation of good health. My goal as a health coach is to empower people to use food to their advantage. A whole, as a holistic health coach, I watch clients who are willing to experiment with the food they eat and notice that their lives begin to shift in other positive ways. If you'd like to, more information on what I do, please visit my website, fromheretohole.com. In the meantime, happy food shopping.